Hello there folks and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I'm your curator at this channel where we talk about style, self-development and review products that we think will help you on your journey to being the best chap that you can be. Now, to date, the most popular video which I've made was a review video on the Loke Burford boots, which was some time ago. And I had loads of questions after that, and lots of questions about Loke in general and things like that. So I thought today I'd talk a bit more about the Loke brand and take this opportunity to review another product of theirs, which I've been using for some time, and that's the Loke Cadogan shoes. So I'll flip the camera around, we'll have a look at them on the table, and we'll talk about the shoes and the brand a bit more. So here we are. Here is the Loke Cadogan shoe. And uh, just a brief overview of that, and then we'll talk a bit about the brand and where I think it should sit in your wardrobe of, you know, formality and things like that. So this Loke Cadogan, very simple shoe really. It's a Oxford shoe. The Oxford, meaning the lacing system, is enclosed. Um, and it's a very simple cap toe Oxford, but with a little bit of broguing, as you can see, just across the toe cap. I guess this would be described classically as a semi-brogue. Well, I mean, I've, been, I've had these shoes in my ownership now for just over three years and uh, bought them directly from Loke and they have been a very stalwart pair of shoes. Traditional black color, good for pretty much everything. And, uh, you know, I have worn them on occasion where I've had to travel with only one pair of shoes because of space. I've worn these with a suit in the in the daytime and i've worn them with black tie in the evening as you can see i brought this pair up to a mirror shine on the toe cap which gives them a lot of versatility and they're quite smart as well so very flexible and versatile thing to have now one of the things i really do like about this particular pair now i should say this is a pair of Loke Cadogans are in the Loke 1880 range. So I'll talk about the, the Loke range in a moment, but these are in the 1880. Suffice to say, they're pretty much at the very top end of the bracket that Loke makes, and they cost around about £220 uh, brand new. Now, they are all leather, as you can see, and they are uh, seated 360 degree Goodyear welted onto a pair of day-night soles. Now, day night is a sort of rubber composite uh, style of sole, which is very hard wearing and very practical for wearing in environments like the UK, where we tend to have quite damp and wet winters, autumn, springs. In fact, it rains quite a lot here, and it certainly has this last year. But whereas a, rubber, a, a leather sole rather might offer less protection, so it's obviously not going to be as warm. It's quite slippery on damp and wet surfaces. Um, the day-night sole is quite hard wearing, so if you're going to walk quite a lot, day-night is a really good option because it wears down far slower than uh, a, an equivalent leather sole. And it's also more practical for, you know, inclement weather climates, very much like we have here in the UK. So I'm a, a very big fan of the day-night sole, particularly, you know, because of our weather. So as I say, a very, very practical shoe. Um, and I, I really got on quite well with it. But I thought I'd take this opportunity, as well as talking about the, the, the Loke Cadogans here, to talk about Loke itself. Now, Loke is a very traditional British brand. It was um, created in 1880 by three brothers, Thomas, John, and William Loke, who originally set up their company in, a, in an outbuilding off their family home. And over time, it became quite successful. And they ended up um, creating a company called the Unite, Unique Boot Factory, which was largely successful uh, up there in Kettering in Northamptonshire. And uh, in fact, that's where Loke are still in production today. Um, they're still on family ownership and uh, many, many generations down the line. And they're very, uh, very much proud of that heritage and that tradition which still exists. Um, their heritage goes back quite a bit. You know, in the First World War, they uh, manufactured footwear uh, for, you know, uh, dispatch riders, and they even manufactured boots, believe it or not, for Russian Cossack soldiers. In the Second World War, again, they, uh, they answered the call for the nation, and they manufactured boots for the Royal Navy and the Royal Air Force. And I understand that at their peak, they were manufacturing something like 2,500 pairs of boots per week in the national effort. So, you know, they've, they've stepped up when it was necessary. 
Although it's fair to say as time has gone on, you know, the footwear industry has changed. And uh, in 1997, Loke moved about two thirds of its production away from the UK to India. Uh, particularly quite a lot of their shoes have their uppers, the stitching, uh, finished or you know done in India in Chennai in India and then some finishing work I believe is undertaken back in the UK but about a third or their top end stuff is still manufactured in Kettering in Northamptonshire now for the uninitiated Northamptonshire has a very special place in the world of shoe manufacturing it's still the the sort of hub for shoe manufacturing in the United Kingdom and many of the big brands still have their manufacturing sites there. So you'll find Church, um, Crockett and Jones, Trickers, Gaziano and Girling, a lot of the big brands, Chini, all of these you know, very well-known names in men's footwear still manufacture their shoes there and their boots. And that's because of the tradition. So in some of these factories, you will find you know, father, son, grandparents have all worked in the factory and this knowledge and ability uh, to manufacture footwear has gone back for these generations. So it, it, it persists as being the place to manufacture shoes in this country. And of course, those shoes go out around the world. Now in that pantheon of men's quality footwear, I think it is fair to say that Loke does not occupy the upper rungs of that ladder. You know, if I was to describe them, I would say they're kind of the entry level for good rather than you know something like churches and crockett and jones where an equivalent pair of shoes to this pair here which originally cost 220 pounds can be bought a lot less these days on sales and things like that but originally cost 220 an equivalent pair perhaps made by churches or crockett and jones the other big names uh, would be costing two three times that amount of money so you know you, it's not a budget brand by absolutely any means they're very good quality but they are not at the top end of the shoe manufacturing world and i think it's fair to say that and i'm not being disrespectful to Loke by saying that because they are a very high quality manufacturer you know they've held the royal warrant to her majesty the queen since 2007 and um, they've got something like in the region of a hundred thousand retail shops globally and uh, i was in london just a couple of weekends ago walking down Jermaine Street, you know, the sort of mecca for men's style. And uh, they do indeed have a retail store in Jermaine Street alongside those big names like Churches, Crockett and Jones, Cheney, John Lobb, you know, the names which are absolutely synonymous with quality and churches there, you know, but I would consider them to be the, the entry level. Right, let's talk about the different layers of Loke shoes. Now this, as I said, is the 1880 uh, series within the church catalog. Now they call it 1880 because as you will recall it is the year which Loke was created and set up by the original brothers. Uh, but over time there are now several different tiers of shoes. For instance you've got uh, Loke Lifestyle, they are a bit more edgy, they are you know quite cheaper about £140 plus, they've got L1 as a, as a series, they've got a Design Loke as a series, They've also got another a series of shoes in the Shoemakers brand. Uh, now, all of these, I believe, are predominantly manufactured outside of the UK, and they are, you know, either finished or stitched together, or you know, prepared finally for sale in the UK in one of the various Loke factories. But predominantly, they sit outside the UK in manufacture. Uh, they can be, you know, expensive. Uh, shoemakers, for instance, which I think have a lot of work done in the UK, they are range between sort of 190 to 240 pounds. So they're not inexpensive by any means. But when you get up into the 1880 section, uh, and there's a, a top tier of 1880s called 1880 Export, they uh, can cost anything beyond 360 pounds, 400 pounds. But the 1880 brand is a very good place to start looking if you're looking for a high quality shoe because they are manufactured in the UK, they're finished here, created here, they're made in the factories um, and because of that you have the great opportunity to send your shoes back to the factory to have repair. So for instance if you're you know, your lovely pair of 1880s that you've become attached to over time wear out, the sole has gone through, you can send it back to the factory and they will undertake a factory overhaul and repair on that shoe. So it costs £90 for a sole and heel repair service 
Um, and because of this 360 degree Goodyear welt, now for, for those who are not entirely sure what that means is, this stitching line you can see around the sole, it tells us that the shoe has been created by the upper being entirely separate to the, the sole. And where the upper, the leather part at the top meets the sole, there is a, a flap at the bottom which is referred to as the welt. And that allows the sole to be stitched directly onto that, which means that when the sole wears out, it can be removed and another replacement sole can be stitched onto the upper. Uh, and again, stitched onto that welt, the Goodyear welt. In that way, one pair of shoes like this could last you many, many years, depending on, you know, the usage you put them through, clearly. But, um, you know, if you're not a heavy wearer of those shoes, they could last decades. I've certainly had this pair of shoes for three years, and as you can see, virtually no wear at all. And I wear these with quite a lot of regularity. They're my sort of go-to black smart shoe that I tend to wear with a suit in, you know, any old weather. Uh, only in the summertime I wear sort of leather soles, but most of the year I'm wearing a pair like this. So very practical. And when they wear out, send it back to the factory, and for £90 you can have a full repair. They'll place the shoe back on the last, that, uh, that shaped metal um, forming device which it was created on. So it's taken back to its original style. The, so the sole is replaced and they will also finish the upper as best they can. So in effect, for your £90, you get a pair of shoes back which to all intensive purposes will look and act as if they were brand new, but they are your tried and tested old friends that you've been wearing for a long time. So gets you a new pair of shoes really for £90. Great value. So alongside the black, uh, they also create the Loke Cadogan in, hang on, let me get the other one so it looks better. There we go. They also do it in a mahogany color. Now, let's just move the black out the way. When it comes to the mahogany color, I'm quite a fan of this one. So this, the black, very formal to a degree, but this mahogany color allows you to be a little bit more informal with this shoe. So I tend to wear this one with uh, chinos or light colored trousers in the summertime. Again, it's, it's exactly the same, just a different color. It's got that day-night sole, 360 degree welt, and in fact, this pair of shoes, I've again had in my possession for three years or so, and they have taken on quite a strong patina because I've polished them quite a lot, as you can see. It's no longer, you know, it would have been a, a lot lighter than that originally. I've brought the toe cap up to a mirror shine, and that's because I tend to use these shoes in my more formal smart situations and that's one of the things i love about a brown shoe of course there's no two colors of brown shoe the same once you start treating them with conditioner with polish and things like that and i have found these loke cadogans the leather the calf leather that they use takes polish fantastically well uh, and as you can see this pair looks great and i often wear them with say a, a navy blue suit or predominantly with with light colored trousers in the summer or in the seasons where I want to wear something different from black because black is black at the end of the day uh, whereas brown has got a bit more warmth a bit more a bit more joy to it I think now they also make the Cadogan in a suede brown a darker brown which is even better I think for the summertime I don't own a pair of those but uh, I'm quite satisfied with the black and the brown and I do as I say uh, reserve these for occasions it's quite smart quite often when it's a bit damp, so uh, ideal for the day-night soul. Now, they come in four different width sizes, as do most of the range that Loke make, which is one of their great uh, advantages, really, because you can generally find a pair which fits you very well. And this particular pair, as I say, cost around £220 new, bought from the Loke website, which is free delivery, fantastic service actually from Loc if you choose to buy directly. And I'm not sure about their global shipping options, but it's worth having a look there because um, you know they're very swift to deliver. They always come in lovely boxes with shoe covering bags over them. And uh, you know you feel as if you're buying a product which is actually more expensive than it actually is, I think, when it comes to purchasing Loc. And uh, you know they will serve you very well. Now, I have seen these shoes. Now they're on, you know, they're still available, but they're certainly, I don't know whether they're actually discontinued by the Look Factory because they're very quick to change the models. 
Um, but you'll still find them for sale quite widely. And I've seen them, you know, much lower in price now. You can probably pick them up for 150, 120 pounds if you catch them in a sale somewhere or when they've been discounted. So it's worth having a shop around and you might be able to pick up a pair of these low Cadogans in the black, the mahogany or the suede, whatever you need at a very modest price. So I hope uh, that's given you a bit of an insight onto the Lokeragan. It's certainly a shoe which I've worn for a number of years. I've been very satisfied with in the 1880 range by Loke. And if I'm being honest, that is the only range that I would look at within the Loke offering. Because I think the 1880 should be where, as a stylish, um, you know, classical gentleman, you would probably be starting to look at. Anything in their lower ranges, not manufactured in the UK, not to the same high quality, I would say you may be a little disappointed. But in the 1880 range, I wouldn't really hesitate if I saw them and I liked them and they were a good price. So I hope that's helped. Well, I hope you enjoyed that insight into the ownership experience of those Luke Cadogan shoes, and it might help you in making a decision whether you would invest in a pair of Lokes in general, or even the Cadogans to add them to your wardrobe. My overall thoughts, you know, pound for pound, for the price, you get a fairly good product that's gonna last you for years that you could potentially uh, add to your wardrobe and will suit many different formal and possibly informal situations. So worth thinking about. If you have enjoyed this video today, please hit that thumbs up like button because I love to know that you're enjoying the work that I do for you. Also, while you're there, click that subscribe button because that way you won't miss any of the future content that I put out on your behalf. And please, please do leave me a comment in the comment section if you've got any views or you think differently to what I've spoken about today because I like to learn from your thoughts and if you've got ideas about things you'd like me to do in the future, let me know and I'll give it a shot. So thanks for listening today. Until the next time, take care.